Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to take a look at the best skin for all 78 brawlers in the game right now. So, I really like my skins. Sometimes I feel like a good skin will literally make you play better. Again, it's my personal opinion. Some of these skins might be limited as well. But, you know, I have pretty much all skins in the game. And I just love them. I love talking about them and picking the right ones. So we're going to be starting off in alphabetical order here. Starting off with 8-bit and just working all the, way uh, all the way down. I'll leave timestamps in the description below. But let's just go through it then. So 8-bit has some pretty good skins to be fair. You can select a few uh, good ones and buy that with bling. But in my personal opinion, it'll always be virus 8-bit. Unfortunately, they did 8-bit horribly wrong with antivirus 8-bit. I really hate the recolor. But virus 8-bit, it's a good skin. It's legendary. And it's definitely worthwhile the price, in my opinion. Next up, we have Amber. So Amber doesn't really have many skins. But with Amber, she has two really good skins. This skin is really underrated. I think just on the face of it, it's a really cool skin but for our screen amber is by far the best amber skin it's also got kill animations as well meaning that it might be a legendary skin in the future so if you've got bling to pick this up this is probably the best skin for bling in all honesty such a good skin next we have angelo so angelo has two skins and the elf one is disgusting i would honestly say that the default is better than this monstrosity of a skin so that's probably the only default that's better than any other skin so yeah don't waste your money on elf angelo it's absolutely ugly next we have ash so with ash he has a, some pretty good skins i like ninja ash krampus ash is pretty cool as well if i was to pick one though it'd have to be pinata ash it's a ranked skin so i believe you can only get this from the rank drops now or it might be actually limited i'm not entirely sure but this skin is a good skin definitely recommend again it if you can next we have barley so barley has a lot of skins unfortunately barley's kind of forgotten about right now so i don't really see many of these skins flaunted off myself i never really get the chance to play him but if i was to pick a skin i would say it's out of two for me it's out of unicorn night barley and sway master barley but i think just uh animations with this is just so cool it just i feel like this could easily be default barley is such a nice skin and next we have b so b again has quite a good collection of skins to be honest i think it's been a long time since b has actually got a new skin so i'm hoping they release one in the future because i love b skins i think mega b to b it's a good skin but i just can't you just can't go wrong with arch villain b again this is unpopular opinion but this is my opinion i just love the feeling of it it's such a different skin and i just think the shots with Archie Villain B just hit different. So I absolutely love that skin for sure. Next, we have Bell. So Bell, a lot of people like the Brawl Pass Bell skin, which is very fitting for Bell. I just like Coral Bell. You know, she's got the hood on. She feels like a gangster. And I just feel like I hit more shots with this skin. I don't know. It's just a really cool Bell skin. I love it in game. Really, um warms my heart when i play bell next we have bb so this is probably a controversial well not controversial one this is probably one that a lot of people care about because there's some good bb skins we got heroine bb which is really good curse pirate bb which is really good we got zombie bb but i think the new four bb skin is absolutely insane it's so good it's a legendary skin right it should be good if they fix some of the glitches with like the attack and other stuff this skin will just be one of the best skins in the game it is so fire they did such a good job with leg this legendary skin. And then with Bo. Bo again has quite a lot of good skins to be honest. He's got some really ugly ones with the Mecha series. But he's got the Brother and Supreme Bo. Which for me, it tops it. Horus Bo was always my favourite Bo skin. It's so clean. You can buy this one for bling I believe. And it is so clean. But with the recent addition of Supreme and Brother Bo. I don't know which one's better. I'll probably go with Supreme Bo. Just because I love the blue aesthetic. But... You, know, you can't go wrong with like underworld bow horus bow there's just so many good bow skins you can't go wrong with any of them so now moving on to bonnie bonnie only has three skins to choose from outside of true gold bonnie i'd actually say that true gold bonnie is the best skin out of all of them but it's a very costly skin there's no point really buying gold skins at the moment but i think empress bonnie is a better one again i, I, I kind of like just how she looks but in game i don't know like the shot animation isn't really the best i'd say just go for one of these skins they're just pretty good value uh, for your bling in terms of um uh, like in comparison to all the other ones brock he has a lot of skins a lot of these are unfortunately a little bit outdated even though i just love some of the like all these old school ones are so cool if I was to pick one, again, it's a little bit boring because it's a mythic, but it definitely justifies the price with Zeus Brock. It is such a good skin. Literally insane. This could be a legendary skin. It probably fits just the mythic uh, category, but quite could easily be. If I was to pick a runner-up, it probably, I don't 
Uh, it's pretty hard for a runner up. I'll, I'll go for like Rocket Brown. Why not? Because it's a new skin. Next, we have uh, Boom. Bull has quite a lot of skins to be honest. You got Space Ox Bull, which is really underrated skin because it's got a custom voice. For me, I think there's only one winner. I go for Alley Cat Bull every single time. I just he looks like Macklemore. That's that's the kind of vibes I get when I'm playing Alley Cat Bull. I love it. Uh, some people don't really like this skin, but I just love playing Bull with Alley Cat. And then Buster, he's already got two skins. Crocodile Buster every single time. This skin is so underrated. A very cool skin for Buster. But that's the only one. Chainsaw Buster to me is one of the ugliest skins in the game. Next we have Buzz. So I think this is pretty clear. I know these skin, well, these skins are technically out at the moment. It's got to be one of the new Buzz skins. This, is, this skin is absolutely insane. I can't wait to unlock this one. I would say out of all of them, though, yeah, I would definitely say the red one. The red one just, just got that badass vibe about it. All of them are pretty cool, but I think I'll be rocking this one every single time. Next, we have Byron. So, this is one of my mains. Unfortunately, he hasn't really got many skins, but I think all the Byron skins are pretty fire. If I was to pick one, I think it would be the Ringmaster Byron skin, even though it's a mythic. You know, you could say it's pretty boring. Uh, you can't go wrong with either of these Byron skins, to be fair. You know, I'll probably just save money if I was to buy one and get one of these ones instead. Next, we have Carl. So, Carl, again, he has so many skins. Some of these are outdated, though. If I was to pick one, it definitely would be Sultan Carl, though. Very good skin. One of the newest skins in the game. If I was to pick an underrated one, which I've just always liked playing, it's this skin. I just absolutely love it. It's just, I don't know, it's just so cute. I, I love this skin. I've loved it for the longest of times, and I just don't think it's outdated in comparison to some of the other ones. Next, we have Charlie. So, Charlie only has two skins. Pretty boring. But both of these skins are actually really good. Of course, this is going to be the better one, but I'd say this is one of the cooler looking 29 gem skins in the game. I like this one. Secretly, I kind of like it more than the other one, but just because. It, it should have just looks like spider girl doesn't she and then the last one is chester so unfortunately i haven't got loki chester wood spirit chester is a really really good skin but loki chester is by far the best skin for chester again i've not got it from a rank drop unfortunately but if you get the chance to unlock it for free well, you'll literally unlock it for free. Just grind ranked for it because it's probably one of the best skins in the game. So now moving on to Chuck. He's only got two skins. His 29 gem skin is so ugly. But Desert Scorpion Chuck, of course, it's literally one of the best skins in the game as well. Some people don't like it, but I love it. It's such a good... They did such a good job with some of these recent skins in the update. I know not uh, skins isn't everyone's cup of tea, but they did a fantastic job. Now we have Colette, so... Again, Clit really did suffer with some bad skins for the longest of times. So I've not really liked any of them other than Trixie until the recent Paulette. I know there'll be some people like, oh, they'll just try and make a bad take that this skin isn't good, but I think it's really cool. It changes Clit a lot, but it still looks like Clit and feels like Clit. You know, I've not really been a fan of like Fango, Kony. Like in in game, that skin looks so ugly. I don't know what it is. You can't even tell it's Clit. It's just they've got such a big fat bubble head i don't know but look at cold skins by the way there's so many skins to choose from if i was to choose one though no doubt it would be challenger cult so i know you guys in the comments you're gonna be secretly salty about it i know you missed it unfortunately i'm hoping they reskin this one because it's such a good skin i love it even like even if it wasn't limited i think i'll pick this skin it's just so fitting i love esports and i'm kind of salty i actually haven't got that hoodie in game because i missed out on the world finals that year Ah, sad moments, but still, it's best cult skin for sure. Next, we have Cordelius then. So, Cord, he's got some pretty decent skins. I'd actually say, in all honesty, True Gold Cordelius is the best one out of all of them. But again, it's the True Gold skin. So, if I was to pick another one, I'd actually just go... Oh, it's a hard decision, actually. I think I'd go with the Brawl Pass skin over Raider Cordelius. I don't know what it is. I just... I just like this. It looks cool. It looks like an alien. It looks weird. That's why I like this Cordelia skin over the other one. Uh, next, we have Crow. So, again, this might be a controversial... Well, it's not controversial. There's just a lot of people that have big debates about what is the best Crow skin. So, in terms of value, you can never go wrong with Crowbone. But I just think, by far, since the rework to this uh, legendary skin, I think it is, by far, the best Crow skin. It's, the effects are so cool. Some people might not like um some of it but again you can never go wrong with either of these two skins some of the best skins in the game for sure next we have daryl so daryl is lacking in skins to be fair I, I can't really say that i like any of the daryl skins which is unfortunate it's kind of forgotten about now in the meta if i was to pick one though i think it would be even though it's not even that cool aesthetically 
I think it's this one with Daryl. It fits him really well. Again, it's probably ugly to some people, but I just, I've just, it's got this aura about it. Just because it's an OG skin, I think it fits him really well. And I love playing Daryl that skin. Next up, we have Doug. So he only has two, well, one skin really. That's actually a good value 29 gem skin. But if you want to get the golden wiener, then I want to discredit you because, like, who doesn't want a golden wiener? It is absolutely beautiful. Next, we have Dynamite. So, again, another brawler where you guys are going to debate it in the comment sessions. There's so many skins. I like, what can I even go at this point? I think in terms of what you get the most value for, it has to be Tengu Mike by far. I know it's pretty boring opinion, but it is definitely one of the coolest looking ones for sure. But Dynamite has a lot of cool skins. The one you should definitely not get is Robo Mike. I know we got the 299 gem treatment, but it's, it looks like a big pile of poo. It's a terrible skin. There's a lot of good skins with Dynamite. We've got Santa Mike, got Moldy Mike, you've got Dynasty Mike as well. Actually, this is my new favorite. I completely forgot about this skin, actually. So forget about Tengu Mike, Dynasty Mike. Unfortunately, you have to get this one through the rank system and just hope you get this skin. But it's so cool. Also, with the fidget spinner as well, it throws out gems. It's such a cool skin. I nearly forgot about that one. But yeah, Dynamite has lots of skins. Spicy Mike as well. You can't go wrong with any Dynamite skin, to be fair. And then next up, we have Ego. So again, another one that's going to cause a lot of controversy. Ego cooks with all of his skins. Even Blackbird Ego. Like, that's actually a good 29 gem skin. Edgar Tata, actually secretly my favorite skin. But if I was to you know pick one it just have i don't know it just have to be mecha egg again it's boring it's a legendary skin but you can't go wrong with mecha egg it's so good again if you're looking for value i would probably say edgar tata like that is such an underrated skin again some people might think it's ugly because it completely remodels him but i just think it looks cool so now moving on to el primo el primo has a ton of skins and i would say this is again going to be controversial but i think el quarterback is the best el primo skin the animation with this skin is absolutely insane i was at first disappointed that they went with this type of skin with el primo but after playing it in game it just hits so different but el primo's got a lot of good skins as well i think el brown will probably be a close second just because it's hilarious running around the map with a big fat primo head uh, there's just something about that skin that hits different to me next we have m's so m's there's a lot of uh, there's not even a lot of skins there's a i think the only really choice here is out of dj and uh, actually there's like three decent skins i'd have to just pick this skin i think it's really good in terms of value with m's again I, there isn't really many good m skins to be fair she probably needs another good one to be fair next we have eve so eve only has two skins right here so i think by far the better one is Spiky, however you say it, Eve. That's way better than Spiky Eve. Ah, oh, Spiky Eve's ugly. How could you ever use that skin? Next, we have Fang. So, Fang recently got uh, two skins, which are pretty cool. I mean, it throws a fiery baseball. I'm not really into baseball myself. People really like this skin. I don't know what it is with it, but I just don't find it as cool as other people do. If I was to pick one Fang skin, I think it just has to be Ferocious Fang. It's a Brawl Pass skin, which, you know, rarely I'd say the Brawl Pass skins hit that good. Well, in the past, but this one just fits Fang perfectly. I love this skin. I think that's his best one for sure. Next, we have Frank. So, good old Frank. Everyone always forgets about Frank, but he actually has got some fire skins. Spirit Knight Frank is so good. But with the recent addition of uh, these skins, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, but it is the best Frank skin for sure. The attack animation, we're shooting hills, and I uh, just got that vibe to it. It just looks epic. I love this skin, but it is a mythic skin, so you can't get it with bling, unfortunately. But definitely Spirit Knight is a close second with Gale. He's actually got two good skins. Unfortunately, he hasn't had a new skin for a while, but Nutcracker Gale and Squeak Buster. I could not literally decide between these two. I think secretly I like Nutcracker Gale a little bit more. I, don't, I just like this animation with him. It's just cool. It is, you know, the Christmas vibes. You love to see it. Next, we have Gene. So, again, by far, not even going to debate this one. It's definitely Evil Gene. Pirate Gene is ugly. Evil Gene's one of the best skins in the game. We're going to go to the next brawler now, which is Grey. He's only got like two skins, hasn't he? So, of course, it's going to be Detective Grey skin. Like, Runaway Grey. That is literally a criminal as composure would say like well why would you want that skin it's so ugly but yeah probably it would go with the noir edition over this edition for sure normally i just like the original but the recolor definitely is a better one for me and then we have griff so griff again hasn't really got any skins to be fair i think sunken chest griff is the better one 
but I think I play True Gold out of all of them. High School Griff is ugly. Slayer Griff is okay. But Sunken Chess Griff probably is a better one. So now moving on to Grom. So Grom's got some pretty cool skins. I think Bunny Grom is really good value for your bling. But you can't go wrong with this Grom skin. I think they really cooks with the Warrior's Journey skins overall. I love them so underrated. I guess it's because they're mythic skins and you have to buy it with gems. But like I said, very underrated. Gus, I think World Champion Gus is such a good skin. Again, I love the esports skins. But in general, it just looks so cool. The colors from Zeta look insane. Again, I'm not too sure what they cooked with this skin, even though it reminds me of... I forgot the guys. How did I forget? Russell. Russell from Up. I like it because of that reason, but again, I feel like they could have made it a bit cooler. And this skin just looks so ugly in game. I don't know what they did with the Lion skins. They definitely didn't cook whatsoever. And now we're moving on to the best skin in the game, Milky Hank. This is the best skin. Get it straight away, even if it's a Mythic skin. Even if you haven't fully maxed out your account, save gems for this skin and buy it immediately. Enough said. If you watch my streams, you know the power of this skin. Next, we have Jackie. So... With Jackie, I don't know, Jackie's actually got some underrated skins, I would say. Gift, Express, Jackie's good. Jet Ski, Jackie, Ultra Driller. But I think Jackie, Kuki is the best one. I like these ones. I know I've been complaining about the big heads and all of the other line skins, but the, the new ones are just weird. It doesn't really suit them in game, but it definitely does with Jackie, Kuki, in my opinion. I know, you, I think you can only buy that with gems, but I love that skin for sure. Uh, next up, we have Janet. So, again, the simps in the comment might go wild with my uh, kind of explanation of all of this dark fairy janet i just think looks so ugly i don't know what it is some people might like the vibes with his skin i don't really like it i think in my opinion I don't, i've kind of got i don't know this skin just looks so good with janet i don't know what it is but i think i'll go with luna janet just because of the cool effects the space theme i just love those themes when it comes to skins next we have jesse so jesse I think that nothing has really changed here. Cat Burglar Jesse is so underrated, but I can just never switch off Tanuki Jesse. This skin is just absolutely goated, and especially from my time playing Mario Kart, I just can't not pick that skin. Next, we have Kit. So, in all honesty, I don't know about you guys, but I hate these skins. Kit Boxer looks... I don't know what it is about it. It just scares me. I don't like it, but I do... I guess it is just better than Believer Kit. I guess just because of the custom effects and whatever else, but I don't really like the kit skins. Hopefully they can cook in the future. Larry, he only really has one skins, but I actually like that skin, especially because it looks like the Nintendo Switch. And then we have Leon. So again, a lot of people might debate in the comments about this, but I think there's zero doubts that White Wolf Leon is the best Leon skin for sure. It's a recolor of Werewolf Leon, but it just looks so much better. Everything about it in game looks so much cleaner. Leon has got some underrated skins though. I really i love all of them even sally leon's underrated for sure so now moving on to lola i'd say they cooked with their lola skins i know she's not a brawler that's really popular but they cooked there's so many good lola skins i can't really choose from them i don't really see many people use cobra lola if i was to pick one i think it would be kitsune lola this just looks really cool i just love the effects and the cat as well but lola's lola's really good rebel lola galaxy storm cobra lola's underrated but Again, it looks a little bit sus in game. Next, we have Lou. So, Lou's got some pretty good skins. Berg Lou is always my favorite. You know, I love burgers over here in the UK. I think it has a soft spot in my heart because he literally is holding fries. How can you not love that? But if I was to pick one out of all of them, I think it would be Stone Troll Lou. It's a pretty cool skin. You can only get it in ranked, though. But he just looks so cute, doesn't he? It just completely fits Lou's character in my opinion next we have Maisie so Maisie's got some ugly skins this skin is like the ugliest skin in the game like who cooked with this skin who thought just putting this green thing on her hair would make her look cool it looks terrible if I was to pick one I think it just would be Jungle Queen Maisie I think this skin is very fitting for her and looks pretty cool next we have Mandy so again Mandy pretty fairly new brawler in the game if I was to pick one I think it actually would be Magma Mandy, I just love the effect with this skin. It looks so cool, the super animation as well. Uh, but I'd say that Mandy skins are pretty underrated. The other skins are pretty good as well. Next, we have Max then. So Max hasn't had a new skin for a little while now, I believe. She's got some good skins. I'd say that Hermes Max is probably going to be the crowd favorite. If I was to pick one, again, it's going to be controversial, but it has to be Streetwear Max. I don't know what it is when you play this Max skin. You just move different. You just zip around the map so much differently. It's not going to be your best value for gems or whatever else, but 
I don't know, when you play the skin, you know what I mean. You just wiggle different, you just attack different. Yeah, I think that's the best one in my personal opinion. And then it would be Hermes Max. Next, we have Meg. So again, they kind of cooked on the Meg skins, I'm not going to lie, recently. I think Monster Truck Meg is one of the best value skins for Blink in the game. This skin is so good. I'd actually say it's my favorite skin out of all of them. I know some people will be like, oh, but Megalodon, it's a mythic skin. It has to be the best one, right? I don't think so. Monster Truck Meg is my personal favorite. And then it would be Megalodon. But like I said, they definitely cook with some of the recent Meg skins. Next, we have Melody. So Melody has no skins. I'd actually say her default is better than whatever this skin is. I mean, this skin is all right, but I just like the pink hair. It's just better. Let's just face it. Next, we have Miko. So to be honest, I know a lot of people will like this skin. I love this skin aesthetically, but I don't know. I just find like the voice lines distracting to me. I don't, don't know what it is. And you know, me personally, I felt like I could have cooked a little bit better with the Wukong, like with the theme. I felt like, you know, in Fortnite, it looked really cool. Uh, do you guys still play Fortnite? You know, back in the day, Wukong, I don't even know what it was called, but that looks so cool in Fortnite and it just didn't really feel the same in Brawl Stars. But Grouch, Miko, I think that's the best uh, skin for me personally. I just love the theme with it. It fits them so perfectly. Beautiful, beautiful skin. And then we have Mortis. So again, another popular Barilla, which a lot of people will have their opinions with. And I think it's just quite comfortable, though, to be honest. Like a lot of these skins, I would say Mortis probably needs some new skins, to be fair. I know he's recently got the Mecha Mortis. It's definitely the best skin for me, in my opinion. I don't think there's even a close second. Some people might be like, oh, Rogue Mortis is good. I mean, it's good, but I just think... I just hit too much, so I just start to hate it. I mean, it is a pretty cool skin, but Mecha Mortis definitely is my favorite. So next up, we have Mr. P. So time and time again, we talk about how underrated his skins are. And they just are. They always get good value because you get a skin for your portals as well. He hasn't got a new skin in the last year or maybe even two years now. My personal favorite, favorite will always be the Rumor skin. But I think you could make a case for both of them. I think Count Pangula definitely is close second. And again, this is one of the best 29 gem skins in the game. Like, he looks so cool. And for 29 gems or however many bling, it's just free at the end of the day. Next, we have Nanny. So, Nanny skins cook. I'm not going to lie. All of his Nanny skins cook. Bell Nanny, such a good skin. Aries Nanny, such a good skin. I think my personal favorite is still Sally Nanny. I don't know what it is. I just love the little helicopter. Look how cute it is. The way it kind of flies around. It makes a little sound. I love it. Aries Nanny is a goated skin, though. So, I know a lot of people will prefer this one for sure. But I just personally, there's just something about Sally Nani. I think I've just played so much competitive with it. It'll like always have a sweet spot in my heart. So next we have Nita then. So again, there's a lot of bad opinions about Tusk and Nita. Me as well. I don't really like this skin, unfortunately. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't feel like a legendary skin. It does look cool though. I, I'm just... I felt like I could have done something a bit better with uh, Nita. So, in my personal opinion, uh, I don't even know what would be the best. I think probably Whale Watch Nita is the best. I love that the sounds with it. I think it fits Nita pretty well. There are some good Nita skins as well, though. Like, Gummy Bear Nita is really good as well. We've got Nine Nita, but I think Whale Watch Nita is probably the best one overall. Next, we have Otis. So, Otis doesn't really... Actually, he does have some good skins. Only Otis is one of the best skins you can get out of a star drop for sure. Such a good skin. I know people don't really like Otis, but look at it. It's just insane. But I love Win Otis. Again, I'm an eSports fan. So, this skin just holds a nice place in my heart. I love the color scheme. Overall, they cooked with this one for sure. Uh, next, we have Penny. So, Penny, I don't think she's got a skin in a little while now. My personal favorite will always be Smuggler Penny. Again, another skin that I think you can't get. It's one of the first ranked skins, but it probably will be refurbished in the future. So, when it does get this skin, I think it's a really good one. Close second probably would just be like Dark Bunny Penny. But again, I don't really think any of her skins are that great. People might like Trash Panda. Uh, whatever it's called, the Penny skin. But I don't really like that one personally. Next, we have Piper's. Piper's got some fire skins. There's going to be some big debates in the comment section, I know, out of the four skins around here. My personal favorite, I think it'll always be Cupid Piper. There's just something about this skin. It's not going to be your best value for gems, bling, whatever else. But it just fits Piper perfectly. You just don't need to change anything about it. it. It's just such a perfect skin. But again, I wouldn't discredit you for going like Flag Bearer Piper or Luna Piper. I know with this skin, you get to see Piper's feet, which, which is just absolutely insane, immaculate. I love it. 
but at the same time, <laughs> you just can't go wrong with Cupid Piper. Oh, or this one, this yeah. skin's are really good at as well. Next, we have Poco. So, Poco, uh, has he got good skins? I think he's got some pretty decent skins, like Trash Poco's okay. So whatever he's, however we say this. This skin is always pretty cool with Poco. Again, it's a little bit outdated, but it's still pretty cool. But I just like CCTV Poco. I remember getting, getting shown this skin as a preview months and months ago and i freaked out mainly because i love the lore of brawl stars and i love how these like poco like i never saw pogo's face before and i saw it for the first time and i literally screamed just it looks so cool if you get the lore behind brawl stars then this has to be one of my personal favorites in the game so next up we have arty so i feel like the skins really fit him well especially the brawl pass skin sometimes they really miss with them but this skin is absolutely fire but again this skin i don't know what it is i just really like it i think it fits uh rt really well seeing as he's kind of like a stalker security guy and you can just see this like flashing beeping game you know for 29 gems you can't go wrong with that skin but two good skins for rt i feel like they could cook a lot more in the future so next we have rico some goated skins with rico then so some of them i think really missed the mark but final boss for rico is so underrated such a good skin but you'll just never get me switching off god rico I love this skin. There's just something about it when you super an opponent. Uh, it just feels like you're just him in that moment. So I love this skin. Loaded Rico is really good as well. Don't really like many of the other Rico skins. Next we have Rosa. So Rosa has got some interesting skins. Because it's Rosa and she's low skill, I don't really find her skins too interesting. If I was to pick one, it probably would be Coco Rosa. I just think she looks cool with the shades on. I don't know what it is about it. Like She literally shoots coconuts and she's just dancing really cool. Again, you can't really go wrong with Cheerleader Rosa either. Next, we have Ruffs. So, in terms of Ruff skins, again, might be controversial. You guys might like Marshall Ruffs, Ronin Ruffs. But I like Ruffs, Chimmy. Again, it looks so cute. I don't know what it is. Do you, do you guys, can you tell that I like the cute skins? It looks nothing like Ruffs, to be honest. But how can you not love that skin? It is just so cute. The animations, just everything about it. I don't know. I'm just a sucker for cute skins. Next, we have Sam. So, Sam's got some fire skins, to be fair. Like, all of these, you could definitely make a case for. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Yeti Sam. Might be a little bit boring, but I just love this theme with, for him. I think when I saw this skin, I freaked out because I was like, wow, this skin could easily be, like, a mythic skin or something like that. It's such a good skin. But, again, they cooked all of the skins for Sam. Are absolutely insane. Like, in terms of the value, you get value with every single Sam skin. It's just unfortunate that he's not as good as other brawlers in the meta next we have sandy so i think another brawler they've kind of forgotten about in terms of skins recently i think there was a supercell make skin coming out for him pretty soon though but in terms of the skins out now in the game i think you can't go wrong with either of these i think my favorite has to be sander koya again do you guys tell that i like the line skins and the bt21 skins i just really love them it changes the brawlers a lot but i just like the in-game animations it looks so funny and cute latin sandy is lantern sandy sorry is such a good skin though one of the best in the game for my in my opinion really fits sandy well next we have shelly so there's some really good skins with shelly i really like the shelly dancer ones recently i think my personal favorite will have to be probably hoot hoot shelly just because of the re kind of model with one of the uh, yeah it's a remodel of this one which i don't think will ever come back into the game so this is a really good skin fits her really well and i just like uh the cat with her or whether it's the owl no it's actually an owl yeah i like that with her but shelly dancer i don't think i've really played too much but it is a cool skin and you can never go wrong with psg shelly as well next we have spike so spike there's a lot of skins with spike you know uh, i don't know if i warm to this skin or not but i just can't see myself really you know in the future i probably will switch off this skin to be fair for now it's funny throwing poop at people but some people might just grow out of it pretty quickly i think i just need to grow up and switch off this skin i think toon spike is the best skin i think it's probably the best skin in the game in my opinion some people might not like the style but again i was shown this skin in person and i like screamed i was like this skin is godly it changes spikes so much but the animation just everything about it is beautiful definitely worth legendary status but Spike has some pretty good skins, you know, Secura, Pyro Spike, Lo Dark Lord Spike, Logma Spike. All of these skins are really good value, except for Rubber Spike. Never get that skin. It is so ugly. Next, we have Sprout. Uh, in terms of Sprout skins, again, they're kind of cooked with Sprout, to be fair. I think the skin that I always have a special place in my heart is Luna Sprout. I don't know what it is about him. It, it, he just looks so cool. He shoots, he, like, he supers cheese. 
I think he shoots cheese. I can't even remember off the top of my head. But he's just beautiful. I, I love just throwing walls at people with his sprout skin. The other ones are pretty underrated as well. Next, we have Squeak. So in terms of the Squeak skins, I think Nerd Squeak is actually fire. I think personally, I really just like the aesthetics with Ghost Squeak. There's just something about it which just screams to me that this probably should be just default squeak i look how cool he is but the nerd squeak animations and just because it's a pretty new skin in the game you can't go wrong with it it's actually such a good skin people might hate it but i really like it in my opinion so next up we have Stu. so in terms of this legendary skin with Stu, i think it's a cool skin i don't know whether i would say it's like legendary status i don't know i'm interested to hear your guys' opinions about it but I don't know what it is about. I, I prefer Headless Rider Stu. Again, another iconic skin in Brawl Stars. Like when I see this skin, it just perfectly fits him. Santa Stu's fire as well. The other skins are good, but Headless Rider Stu is better than the legendary one, in my opinion. Just looks so much cleaner. Next, we have Surge. So I actually need to buy the Surge Genie skin and try it out a little bit more. I don't think it's really worthwhile. Like... Uh, no, not worthwhile. I just don't think it's better than some of the other Surge skins. I don't know. I'll have to test it out, like I said. But I like Kraken Surge. It's such a good skin. Really good from whoever made it within the Supercell Mate campaign. I think it fits in pretty well. Again, you can never go wrong with like Surge Kong. You literally shoot bananas at people. Insane. He's got such a big banana. Next, we have Tara. Uh, so Tara, again, I think she had some really fire skins like years ago when these skins first came out they were so good like misfortune tara street ninja tara tempest tara i think rage quit tara is a really cool skin again it is an esports skin i think it's the best one but i'm kind of hoping for a new tara skin i feel like they could really hit hard with all the you know legendary skins and stuff they've been adding into the game i hope that we get a cool tara on pretty soon next we have tick so i hate this brawl i don't even care what is the best one cerberus tick probably is the best one by far this one is quite a goofy cool one I don't even know. It just looks like he's shooting poo everywhere. Looks like poop squat. There's poop spike. Snowman tick is pretty underrated as well. I like this one actually. To be fair, like it looks pretty cute. I can't lie, but don't tell anyone. Don't, don't tell anyone I said that. But Cerberus tick probably is the best one. And then finally we have Willow. So Willow only has two skins. Axel Willow is so ugly. One of the ugliest skins in the game. I don't know what it is about it. Even though I like Axel Ottles. I don't know what it is about this skin. Scorpion Willow actually is a really underrated skin. It's because Willow's not really liked, but I think if Willow was liked a lot more, people would really appreciate this skin. So that's going to be it for today's video. Just went through all 78 brawlers to give you guys my opinion. I thought I'd switch up the content just a little bit away from the meta type of videos that I always do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite skins are in the game. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.